G'day everyone, welcome back. This is an exciting day. We're moving on from the shed and we're starting our next project, which is a solar power system. We're off grid, I've made no secret of that. Um, power, water, sewer, septic, however you wanna say it. We are gonna start on those things before we really can get too far in the house, especially with permitting, gonna need at least some of that stuff done um, before I can get headway on the house. So, um, power's gonna be first. We already have the solar panels, 56 panels um, split between here and some in the shed. There's 28 panels right here. So we're gonna have four arrays, ground-based arrays. Um, they are going to be 14 panels each and they will be seven panels in series, two in parallel. And that configuration will give us the uh, correct balance between voltage and current that we need to supply our inverters and our charges and it's all one base system. It's the um, EG4 6500-48EX. Um, so I'm going to start, first array is basically going to be right here. Um, it's going to be pretty massive, especially once we have four of them, uh, about 22 feet long, 10 and a half feet um, across ways. And I'm going to angle it 30 degrees. Um, that's a good angle for the average um, solar, like the insulation angle on uh, our current you know, location. Uh, 50 degrees would be ideal for winter and 15 for summer, but I'm just gonna split the difference because this won't be a movable array. Um, it would literally just be cheaper to buy more panels than to try and make a moving array system. And just a word on the batteries, lithium ion phosphate is the chemistry we're going with. We're looking at about 60 to 75 kilowatt hours of storage, um, 13 kilowatts of output, and 14 kilowatts of solar input. And if it's not enough, well, we'll buy a third inverter, buy more batteries, buy more solar panels, who knows? But for now, I think that's gonna be roughly what we need. And um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So we got all our posts cemented in and they're all cut at 30 degrees, which is the angle I'm gonna be running them at. And now basically time to use what had been the braces to be the frame. first panel is officially mounted. I've tested it, it has good output. Um, it's pretty dirty, but it did still meet the, the rated output. So it's very promising for the 55 other panels. Um, I didn't do the full frame on both sides yet. Um, just for anything that you have to do twice, do it fully once. And then that way, if you make a mistake or there's something wrong with how you've designed it, you get a chance to fix it on the second one. But I'm going to keep going with it and um, yeah, let's hope they go up easy. So there's a few logistical challenges you always have to kind of overcome when you're working alone. Um, in this case, I've got a 11 and a half foot long 2x6 that needs to go from there to there. And I obviously can't hold both ends at once. So I've just been putting up these little blocks that I made and they hold up one end while I get the other one nailed in. And then I come back and nail the other. Similar story down here, mounting the panels. Just made this little angled cut that I can uh, just clamp in place and then it can hold the solar panel while I come around the other side and get it all fixed in place. I've got six up so far. I've tested all the output basically as I'm putting them up and they're all testing good. Pretty much what I'd expect for this time of day. Um, and they're all more or less the same. Obviously there's a gradual decline as the sun gets lower and I take more time to put each one up. But yeah, we're, uh, we're getting there. I 
just like that we got our 14 panels mounted they're going to be seven in series and then uh two strings of seven in parallel it's going to give us about 250 volts 16 amps which is going to be good for our eg4 system um so next video is going to be getting it all wired up into the eg4 uh we won't have any batteries yet but um it'll be getting mounted inside the shed and power run into it and uh, we'll give it a test and see how she goes cheers